Annyeong everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm here in Ford Global City and I have this unit 2021 Ford Ranger Wild Track 4x2 manual transmission. So this one actually received some updates. Most of them are exterior updates. And as you can see, there are a bit of color accents that I'll be showing you around. So thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. And please look for Mr. Jericho. He has more than 20 years of Ford experience and he's the right person for you to look for if you want to purchase your Ford vehicles today. First, the price. This unit costs 1,480,000 pesos SRP and that already includes the safety tax or the safety tariff that we are all a bit confused about. So this car costs 1,480,000 pesos and it already includes the safety tax that we are all confused about. But it is what it is and that's the price. So under the hood, this car actually has a single turbo 2.0 liter diesel engine with 6-speed manual transmission and it can do 178 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque and this car is too popular to be underrated this car you can see it everywhere on the road and yeah it is a very handsome car it is a very utilitarian car and it is very solid the moment you open the door the daytime running light will open so this is the start of the Ford Ranger Wild Track 4x2 manual transmission. Woo! <laughs> we have power. Boom. So when you start, you have a blue oval and it tells you that I'm out of gas and everything. So there you go. Then when I do reverse and when I turn the when I turn the steering, it's so soft. And there's a guide actually. So that's very good it has a very nice camera overall and you have a cd also i forgot to mention all right when you turn it off there you go and it says check rear seats for occupants because you might forget to get your baby out <laughs> and let me show you the hood we are here anyway there you go and look at this the engine bay is really clean and it is also insulated it has a single turbo, very clean, good, not much space except for there. The best thing is that we have hydraulic struts and it is really easy to open and also close. So for you to close it, just drop it. But if you do it too soft, you need to do it two times. So actually you need to drop it a bit hard. Oh, Yun, that's what happens if you're scared. So you kind of have to do it a bit hard. Ooh, Yun. It breaks my heart, but that's the way you do it. If you don't do it, you're gonna have to do it twice like what I did, all right? First, let me show you the lights. Here you go. That's the park light. And this is the headlight. Nice. And a fog lamp. Yon. And also the hazard. Very nice. So these are LED projector lamps. We have halogen. Of course, LED daytime running light. And we also have, oh, LEDs. So the high beams are LEDs and that's cool. I was like looking for the bulb, it's actually in there. LED fog lamps and they look really, really nice. And you can actually load a lot of cargo in the cargo space, but you can also move people and you can also do it in style and in speed as well. But will the Ranger survive the urban jungle? Yes, this wild track has 232 millimeters of ground clearance and also this car has a wading depth of 80 centimeters. That's 800 millimeters and it is just the same with the Everest. Now let me show you more in details of the front fascia because 
there are also some updates that were applied to this model. Okay, let's check out the front fascia and this is how the key looks like. It is just the same. It used to look like this and it still looks like this now. But this is not the top variant, this is the single turbo variant. That's why the key looks more basic than ever. So when you open it, you can actually see the daytime running light turning on. So, the daytime running light, the high beam in uh, multi reflectors. And this one, this square housing is the bundle B. This was the updated headlight for the 2020. And when you go down here, of course, we have the fog lamp. These are in LEDs, which look fantastic. Now, one of the things I like about this Ranger is that we have front sensors and they are 4i front sensors. Not many people will appreciate it, but if you don't have a 360 camera, it is actually a very neat function for this kind of trucks. Look at the grill. The, it looks like the FX4 grill, but it comes with the signature color of the wild truck. Guys, if you didn't know, this is the signature color of the wild truck. Okay? And the blue oval is no longer blue, but turned black. And it says Ranger also embossed in black. More airways. And actually, this is how it looks like right here. This is your 800 millimeter of rating depth and 232 millimeters of ground clearance. Of course, there are some character lines right there. The front fender and the wheels are black as well. So the sizes are 265, 60 or 18s. These are 18 inch black alloy wheels with ventilated disc braking system. Here you go. This is what it looks like in the wheel well. Everything is quite black. And this one, this fake air vents are also black now. It says Ranger, if you have the bi-turbo, you will have the bi-turbo badge right here. But this one is a single turbo. Then we come to this huge side mirror. It's really huge. I mean, it's so big. And it comes with the halogen uh, side repeater. This is powered and power folding. Also comes with a powder lamp. It says wild track right there. The step boards, they are in hard plastic. They look very sturdy and durable. So this is what it looks like under. If you are, if you were trying to, if you were trying to buy a wild truck like one of these days, and then this one came out, this is your lucky day, right? But don't worry, even though you bought the previous one, it will most likely be the same, all right? And then it comes with a black door handle as well. And this is a keyless entry system. So I have the key with me. So it keeps opening and closing. So everything else is black. Even the roof rail is black. And the shark fin antenna is also black. Everything is black. Of course, in Ford, Ranger, when the door is open, when you press it, it will actually, it will actually release the gas cap, the lift spring. And here, people might say, oh, hold on, hold on. Why is it a drum braking system? It is what it is, guys. But drum braking system, I really have no problem. It's more of the aesthetic. It looks still nice because it is painted black. And this is the sport something accessory. And we are here at the back. We have the usual rear combination lamp. We have the Ranger sticker in black. Wild track in orange, gold. Then here's the door handle, black Ford logo with a backup camera. Then we have halogen type of lights for the plate number. And this is where you stick that stick inside and turn so that our same alloy wheel will come down and we can finally replace the wheels. There you go. 
So the Ford Ranger comes with a normal wheel. Okay. There you go. And we also get four eye sensors here at the back. This car is really handsome. For you to access the cargo, you just need to use this and just hold it lightly. Then it will come down ever slowly. And even when you are going to put it up, it is quite easy. There you go. And you can put your cup and everything. So, oh, oh, we are here in the cargo and I almost bumped my head. But we have stuff like this, tie downs, but the feature I want to highlight is that we have power source here and that we have lights here. We have cargo lights and the button is inside and we have defoggers. So there is also a design here. So it's not a shark fin fin antenna. It is a, an antenna that looks like a small or baby shark fin. All right. So you can just go down here and putting it up is very easy very very easy little design over here this accent this is a sticker yeah all right so that's the exterior now let me bring you to the interior don't forget to like and subscribe so the door panel mostly plastic except this area where your uh, elbow will hit it's very soft with this orange this design metallic black or metallic gray design and here also brushed aluminum with ambient lighting so this truck has ambient lighting all right there are cubby holes speaker another speaker here so this is one of the upgrades in this variant before we didn't have this now we have a ranger illumination it's very cool the seats are in manual one way two three four and then there is lumbar support and then also here so one two three four five six seven eight this is an eight way adjustable manual seat with wild track signature stitchings and colors and contrasts and the seats are super couch like and it is really really comfortable so let's step inside and thanks to the grab handle it is ever so easy so this is the interior or the dashboard of this wild track manual transmission this one costs 1 million four hundred eighty thousand pesos srp we have automatic lighting system right here there and you can also adjust them manually fog lamp with cargo light right here and these are power folding and power adjusting side mirrors and we have changing color ambient light here in the door handle which is very nice All right also here looks like that our instrument cluster is just the same as the previous one with the analog type of speedometer while you have you can have your digital speedometer and your digital tachometer as well and on the right these are mostly entertainment and your uh, audio controls are right here okay and then we have our light stock and our automatic windshield wiper and that's really good and this steering wheel is actually up and down and not telescopic it is not telescopic and this car also has this orange line with this leather finish that's very nice so we have a very nice dashboard cover in leather and in orange you also find wild track right here and everything is just the same now it has like uh, integrated climate control here audio phone navigation this one has apple carplay and android auto it also has sync 3 which is really nice and it has a very nice voice function which just reads everything that you have like messages it will read for you even though it's in 
Korean and that's a very nice thing to do and this car has push start button manual or dials for the volume tune air condition also you can have manual controls USB charge port and 12 volt right here you have another port that one is for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto we have rear diff lock for this 4x2 truck that's cool traction on and off parking on and off and some blanks right here so we have six speed manual transmission here you can access the rear this way and this is the camera there you go you have sensors for the front and the back auto dimming room mirror we have halogen room we have halogen map lights for the center for the left and the right we have a vent here sunglass case volumetric burglar alarm system these are the ones and we have mirror on the sun visor and we have mirror also on the sun visor of the passenger we have black headliner another room light another map light another cabin light here so we have the halogen type of cabin light right here as well and we have the microphone right here it's really nice that we have grab handles on both sides these are really important and i hope other uh, car manufacturers do this as well so the car just went into hibernation mode or power saving mode and that's good we have a huge huge glove box right here and there's a place here for your owner's manual and we have cup holders we have a manual side brake with chrome and leather and yellow or orange stitching so we have a two level center console and we have a very nice super soft leather armrest for the passenger and the driver that's very nice okay do we have airbag and we also have airbag for the seats so here's the airbag and we also have airbag here and then we have airbag here and airbag there so we have basically airbag for everyone so this is mostly the front and now let me bring it to the back and this is really cool so there you go this is the only padded area we have glitters everywhere there you go speaker step seal ISO fix then you have this one the smell is so good and you have one two three then you have a hook here also remember you have airbag everywhere in this car and number one you can use this pull it then you can have some stuff right there then you can put it down and this one is here so you can pull this then the entire thing comes down like that and uh, the seats are so comfortable uh, usually pickups it's not the best that you stay on the second row it is more set up in front than here wow wall charger and a 12 volt that's crazy i don't know what you can put here though <laughs> so the center tunnel is not the lowest one but it is quite wide and of course we have the lumbar support all right that's about it guys there you go so this is how it looks like guys all right so this was a very very quick review of this wild truck So thank you for watching this video this was a very short review of the new or updated or refreshed 2021 ford ranger wild track 4x2 wild track manual transmission and if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and please do contact mr jericho if you want to purchase this one all right and with that i will see you in the next video may your dreams come true Annyeong.